And then, of course, where we went, we went over to cover what what we believe to be the new prototype Tesla Powerwall three. You know, Tesla is a name everybody knows. People, the Powerwall is an awesome product. So just to kind of give it a fair assessment, but if, I guess for the time being, the story is is we don't we don't know. <laughs> you know, is the Powerwall three real? We don't know. All right, guys, it's showtime. Uh, welcome back to the Solar Surge live stream here. As you can see, we are not in studio today. We are live on the floor at RE Plus 2023 in Las Vegas. Dan, great to be here with you. Yeah, in person. What, what do you think of the show uh, so far? It's been been really cool. Uh, obviously, special edition here, an in-person version. Maybe we'll get a chance to do more of these again in the future, too. But um, it's been crazy. I mean, there's a lot going on. We're uh, currently, I can't tell, or for the viewers, I'm not sure if you can tell where we are. So we're in Canadian Solar's booth right now. They've been gracious enough to allow us to kind of post up and hang out here. But, I mean, it's madness. There's people everywhere. The industry is booming. A lot of good things are happening. Um, so it's exciting. Exciting yeah. times. I mean, I'm, I'm always just impressed with the size and the scale. Uh, yeah. You know, we were, we were out at Anaheim last year. And even there, it, it looked like, wow, this is the largest solar show. I, I assume that we've probably outdone that this year in terms of uh, attendees and registration. Yeah. Um, and then there's so many new new products, new competitors that are coming into the space. So it's really exciting uh, to see that. Uh, and of course, folks, that's why we're here at RE+. Plus. Um, you know, whether you're a homeowner, whether you're a solar sales professional, uh, it's to make sure that you have the most accurate, up-to-date product and industry information. Uh, and before we, we really get into the meat of it, I do want to uh, uh, give a special thanks to the team at Canadian Solar and EP Cube. Uh, for, for allowing us to broadcast from their booth here, uh, right here on the expo floor. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It's, uh, again, I don't know how frequently we'll, have, we'll be able to do these these types of environments, but it's really cool to actually be here in person. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of content coming out on the channel covering new products, new innovations. We just had a meeting or did a, a video uh, before coming over here with REC. They've got some new stuff coming, Enphase, uh, a lot of battery stuff. And I mean, we've only probably talked to, seven, 10 companies. I mean, there's, oh gosh, I don't know what the entire roster is here, but a couple hundred, yeah, I know, you know, yeah, several it's, hundred it's exhibitors. And, uh, you know, we've had, I mean, we've been recording nonstop, right? Yeah. Like we've, we've been recording nonstop since we've been here in the expo hall open yesterday morning. And, uh, there's always new, new stuff going on in the market. So, uh, Dan, I guess, you know, let me ask you, what, what was the, the, the product or the technology that you saw since being here that you think is the, the biggest uh, game changer uh, that you've seen so far? Yeah, um, man, great question. So there's obviously a lot of uh, a lot of different battery conversation. I mean, we had a, a meeting earlier today with Roy Powell, which is a newer, newer battery product here in the U.S. market. But you made a point during that conversation you were having with the gentleman there about how I mean, we've come a long way from the batteries that we used to install. Oh, yeah. I mean, very Frankenstein, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Science you, experiment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, light acid batteries, similar to what you'd see in a car, a golf cart, mixed with a charge controller and an inverter. And it was just kind of pulling pieces together. I think what I've been impressed with is the common theme, whether it was from videos we did with Solar Edge or with Enphase or with a couple of these other not as well-known battery manufacturers today is this, this all-in-one ecosystem that they're trying to create. That's really been the push now is trying to have everything from one brand, one ecosystem. And it makes sense, right? I mean, your, your, your communications and everything kind of is cohesive. I think if I were to equate it, it's almost like you're taking English and there's no need to translate. Spanish, no need to translate. Or sometimes when you mix and match those other products, you're going English to Spanish. And there can be a little lost in translation thing. So I think that's a big part is to see all the battery. Um, Obviously, on the on the solar panel side, a couple of different brands, REC, Aptos, uh, Canadian Solar here, uh, Selfab, all of them are starting to push and come out with higher wattage, higher efficiency, kind of trying to move the move the needle in that direction. Now, there's seems to be a common trend we talked about before, a little bit of trade off because the panels are getting bigger. So mm -hmm. it's not necessarily like, oh, it's a, it's a higher wattage in the same footprint. But there's been some good stuff there um, on that side. So, yeah. How about you? Any any main big takeaway so far? Yeah, well, I think that's that's the big one. You know, we started out uh, we started out meeting with the team at Solar Edge and, and getting a, a full briefing on their platform. So guys, you know, look for some of those videos to be coming out on the channel over the next uh, month or so. Uh, but that that is the big thing is it's going from just just a solar power system to it's almost like an entire home energy 
power plant. Yeah. You know, and your your home energy power plant includes solar, battery storage, EV charging, um, you know, uh, of course, emergency backup power, uh, and all of that kind of being able to work being able to work together. So it is important that they all speak the same language. You know, Im imagine a power plant, you know, the power plant has to have like a, a common control system. And that's kind of what we're seeing here in the home uh, solar and energy storage is, is convergence onto one platform, you know, choose your platform and then make sure that you're using the components that are going to communicate well with the other pieces of that system. Absolutely. Um, but I got to say the biggest thing that stands out in my mind Right now, you probably know where I'm going with this. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is, is this is this is good. <laughs> is is the fact that uh, for the first time that I can ever remember, Tesla is here with a booth on the floor, but it, they didn't have the kind of presence that I, I really would have expected. Like, yeah. Like for example, we're here sitting in Canadian Solar's booth. I wish we could kind of pan it around so you can see like the scale yeah. of some of these booths. But but, but but obviously, Canadian Solar invested in having a significant presence here. You, you can't miss them. They got a big sign overhead. They've got a large uh, footprint here on the floor. Tesla has a small, it's not like the smallest 10 by 10, but they've got a very small booth that's way in the back of the show. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I figure if they're going to come here, why, why didn't they come to be, to be seen? And then, of course, where we went, we went over to cover what, what we believe to be the new prototype Tesla Powerwall 3. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. If you're a solar sales professional out there, or maybe you're considering starting a career in solar sales coming in from another industry, then I'd like to invite you to Solar Surge University. Solar Surge University is the premier online training program for aspiring solar sales professionals who, who really want to be professionals. Learn how to sell solar at an expert level with a consultative approach. It's the same approach that I use and that we use here at Solar Surge to do over $700,000 a month in solar sales virtually with no advertising budget. So if you'd like to separate yourself from the pack of undereducated, underperforming solar salespeople, check out Solar Surge University, where you can learn all of our expert techniques and for a limited time, have access to my live sales call recordings with some of my live clients. So again, we invite you to check out Solar Surge University the link will be below here, and we're also offering a 14-day no-risk money-back guarantee. They are exhibiting uh, a new battery enclosure that, that is believed to be the new Tesla Powerwall 3, but they, they're, not, they're not willing to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's been kind of interesting for me. I mean, as I, as I told the folks over there, like, we're going to talk about it one way or the other. So either you can talk to us about it, and we can get it here straight from the horse's mouth, or we can continue to speculate as to what is going on and what's going to be coming yeah we know something's coming i mean what, what are your thoughts on it yeah it's kind of a narrative right it's it's like look it, and we understand too they haven't published specifications we're not asking them to tell us you know those things are all embargoed so to speak we don't know what they are but hey just any sort of coverage of hey it, can you confirm this is what the powerwall 3 looks like or but yeah i mean it's it uh, kind of plead the fifth you know they just don't want to talk about it and that's okay but I, I did find it interesting, though, because you would think from a brand like Tesla, it's the first time, at least that I'm aware of, that they've ever had a booth at RE+. Yeah, I've never seen them here before. Never seen them before, at least in the years I've been here. And I just kind of maybe imagined Tesla would have had this very grand setup, nice booth, probably very minimalistic. I mean, if you walk into any of their showrooms, you know, for, for, their, for their cars and stuff, that's kind of the style. Like maybe one car sitting on the floor, and that's kind of it. But it's tucked way in the back. It's kind of like they were like, oh, yeah, we're, che we're here, but didn't want to be known that we were really here. We actually, uh, we didn't even know they were here. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Andy at Enphase for, for tipping us on that one because we had no idea. We were like, oh. And then he was like, oh, no, 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 don't, co don't go cover them. Well, uh, you know, we, we couldn't get anything out of them anyways. So, yeah. Well, I mean, the, re the reality is, I mean, the, the, the Tesla brand has such a, a large following. It's, it's, always, it's always noteworthy. Anything that we talk about Tesla, whether it's yeah. positive, negative, neutral, it's going to get viewership. It's going to get distribution. And, uh, you know, but I, I was a little bit surprised and disappointed that, that the team at Tesla didn't want to talk to us because, I mean, not, not to, to, you know, toot our own horn about it, but in terms of the home battery space, you know, solar surge is an authority in that space. And, and uh, I'm disappointed that they didn't want to participate or were not able to participate in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And it would be, it just would genuinely be nice to just, have a bit of a better understanding. I mean, we cover a lot of the, the bigger manufacturers, Enphase, Solar Edge, 
Uh, Franklin is is coming up here a little bit later. Mm -hmm. Um, It'd be nice to, you know, Tesla is a name everybody knows. People, the Powerwall is an awesome product. So just to kind of give it a fair assessment, but I guess for the time being, the story is is we don't we don't know. (laughs) You know, is the Powerwall three real? We don't know. Uh, yeah, you know? it's it's strange. Anyway, we'll have we'll have more on that to share, folks. Um, I and mean, maybe the, the folks at Tesla will decide to actually talk to us and share whatever they can share. Yeah. You know, we know that there's certainly an evolution. They're on their third generation battery now. Uh, End phase is on their third generation battery now. Um, and and there are you know there 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 have been a lot of lessons learned along the way. These products are getting better. They're getting more reliable. And of course, we want to be able to keep you all up to date with that information. Mm-hmm.